Ah, feels good to get outside during this quarantine time and just breathe in some fresh air. That's uh, clean air is always amazing and refreshing. So make sure you're stepping outside during this quarantine stay at home time and get some fresh air. Enjoy mother nature, especially during this time that there's less internal combustion vehicles on the road. So it, the air does feel cleaner. Uh, today's video, we're going to look at what it was like driving the Tesla Model Y, what were my thoughts about it, and how I compared it to a Tesla Model 3. But before we get into that, I just wanted to talk about, you guys all know how much I love the Tesla Model Y. I've made a bunch of videos on it. If I was buying a vehicle today, I would definitely be buying a Tesla Model Y. And it's for that reason and more that I'm teaming up with the Chesapeake Climate Action Fund. They are a organization that helps push governments in local states to help push clean air acts and bring more cleaner energy vehicles to that state and so forth, kind of like how California is. We've got a lot of strict clean air energy acts and they're trying to push them in states like Virginia, Maryland, DC, and so forth. And it's because of them that they are lobbying against government and pushing forward for clean energy acts to help us bring fresh clean air like this. Now, you may remember these guys from last year. They actually had one of their supporters donate a Tesla Model 3 and that's what they raffled off. Well, this year is kind of like the same. One of their benefactors is donating a Tesla Model Y. Yes, a Model Y. I'm definitely buying a ticket to enter to win a Tesla Model Y. In any case, they're giving away a Tesla Model Y. All you have to do is buy a ticket. So I'll put a link to their site down below. In fact, pause this video right now Go get your tickets and come back because I'm not going anywhere, but those tickets are. By the time you watch this video, they may already be gone because there's only a limited amount of tickets that will be sold, which also increases your chance of winning. So go and check them out. Help support them, whether you're doing it to win a Tesla Model Y, whether you're doing it to support clean energy, or whether you're just doing it because in a time like this, we need to support each other. Do it. In any case, we're here to see my experience driving a Tesla Model Y. A lot of you asked about this and I did record this prior to the lockdown. So hence, that's why we're in the car together and why I'm recording this now post lockdown. So enjoy this video from the past about my experience driving the Tesla Model Y and compared to the Tesla Model 3. Enjoy. Record, yep. So recording, all right, cool. So we're in the Model Y and um, I just adjusted myself. This feels pretty good. I was able to pump myself up pretty high. I feel like I've got good visibility. I feel like I'm definitely higher uh, than in the Model 3 where I was like pretty low to the ground. Um, overall feels very comfortable, and uh, but everything feels very familiar. It feels Model 3-like. So let's go ahead and get this guy started and we're gonna take it for a little run. I'll give you my feedback. I mean, take it for what it is. I'm not a super car guy, but I've been driving a Model 3 for two years and so, We'll, uh, I'm gonna turn on the air here so we don't die of suffocation. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. Here we go. Okay, so we'll have to make a couple more adjustments. I'm gonna come up a little bit higher because it does feel like you are higher off the ground. It feels like an SUV, like you're in an SUV and um, turn this off the auto. We're gonna keep the air on a little lower. Uh, yeah, but let's see. So we're in a park right now, so we're not gonna go super fast here. Um, this is more over just to kind of see the overall feel. Um, it does feel uh, a little bit stiffer, so this doesn't have adaptive air suspension, so you can't adjust it uh, like you can on the X or the S. I think that that's a fairly expensive upgrade and that's why it's not, um, you know, not featured on here. But, uh, but yeah, a little bit rigid, a um, little bit stiffer and, uh, and it does feel like you are higher off the ground, not by a whole lot, but by a comfortable amount. I, I, I actually kind of like it, it feels good. Um, you know, we're taking turns and the turns feel just like an all wheel drive. Um, the Model 3 felt a little bit more stiffer when making the turns like this. This one I can feel a little bit of an angle, but um, it's not a whole lot. So um, yeah, not bad. I've got my phone charging wirelessly, it's convenient. Charlie, what's been your, um, you know, you've been driving it for about 219 miles now. Um, people have asked about the efficiency. I can see that you're at 348 watts per mile. <laughs> so you've been having a little fun with it, I've obviously. Been a little fun. Yep, that makes sense. Um, but how has, what were you driving before this? I have a truck. Okay. I have a Toyota Tundra. My wife has a uh, 2012 Outback. Got it, got it. So. 
in relation to those cars? <laughs> hard it's to really even hard to even compare the two. Um, yeah. This is just so much fun to drive. Um, I've always loved driving, and this one just really, I'm so happy we got the performance model. Yeah. It, it feels great going around the corners. I love the sport steering. Yep. I love the regenerative braking. Uh, I was able to go out on a drive for a good hour yesterday, and um, it was all one pedal driving. Nice. Um, it was fantastic. I love it. And what was your uh, what was your family's reaction to uh, a launch? Oh, yeah, they were they all had smiles on their faces for sure. <laughs> Good, no one got scared. Unlike my wife, who screams bloody murder when I do that. <laughs> no, they didn't get scared. All right. So speaking of of launches, we got to go somewhere where we can uh, experience what a launch is in this performance. Unfortunately, I don't have a draggy or any way to formally measure it, but you know. Take it for what it is. Tesla's numbers are fairly accurate. If they say, what is this one? Three, three, five, three, five. If it's three, five, it's three, five. And, um, you know, I can only imagine that that's going to get faster. Um, model three got faster. This is the initial model Y performance. I can assume that that's going to get faster as well. Um, now with the performance model, obviously you get fewer miles. So, um, what is it? Two, 280, I believe. 280. So 280 miles. Of course, if you're driving like Charlie over here, <laughs> you're not going to get 280, <laughs> but you know, you definitely have to enjoy the car when you first get it and, uh, and experience what this is. Cause none of your other cars had this kind of power right. behind it. Yep. So, um, so we're going to take it out, uh, just on the main road here, do a launch, see how that feels. Um, and, uh, We'll take you along for the ride. Hopefully you don't go flying off the windshield here. <laughs> I do live in the mountains, so True. Uh, I have hills and that I go up and down every day. Uh, so that's gonna take a little range away, so. Yeah, yeah. But then when you come down the mountain, then you kind of gain a little bit of that back. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, and th going up the mountain in this car, probably very effortless than your other vehicles. Yes. Um, I know that somebody asked about the, um, the rear view mirror and looking out the back and what your visibility is. Uh, what, what would you say, what's, what's your comment? And then I'll give my comment on it. The rear window, it's a little bit smaller than what I'm used to. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think I can get used to it, no problem. Yeah, so I think this uh, rear view mirror is the same as the Model 3. Uh, it does have the active dimming. Um, but when you look out the rear, as ginormous as that, and this is the secondary glass, as big as that secondary glass is, it's kind of weirdly shaped. And so you are kind of looking at it. I will agree with Charlie, it's it's a bit small. I would want more visibility. When I look over my right, uh, when I look over my left, it's it's a little bit harder. So I really hope that Elon can activate, you know, the side cameras when you're changing lanes. I think that would help with blind spots. Um, but looking in the rear view um, is a little bit difficult. And I'm gonna test it out when a car comes behind me to see like how easy is it to see because I feel like I can't see very low. Now, of course, the answer to that is, you know, two clicks uh, here and you can, of course, uh, see the back camera and you can see everything behind you, but then the rest of your screen is gone and your maps are gone and, and so forth. So, uh, you know, that's one thing to consider. Somebody did ask that about how the visibility out the rear and um, it's, it's, a, it's a little little tough. It's more over just kind of to glance out, but you've got to be, if you're a smaller car, smaller, smaller car, um, it's gonna be a little bit difficult uh, to see when they're right behind you. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see them. So I'll keep a watch for that, but uh, we'll just go out here on the main road for a little bit and, and see how the car behaves. There's no one behind me. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> There's that smile. There's that <laughs> smile. So um, I just took it up to like 40. So it was a really short burst where it's not really an empty, empty road. Uh, but it has the power. I think it could go faster. I, I definitely think that they're holding back a little bit um, because when I just did a performance three, that one really felt, uh, and that one was in track mode and I felt that. So you can definitely feel the weight of this car um, difference in doing a, a zero to 60, but I feel like it's, it's definitely strong. Um, I don't feel like it's as neck snapping as the S. Um, the S for sure. The S is really, your head is hitting the backrest. Um, the three, a little bit more. This one, I feel like it's 
definitely like like this but it's I feel like it's a little bit closer um, to my model 3 but my model 3 is a rear wheel drive um, but it's just it's not as like where I feel like I want to throw up I would say that it's not a throw up status <laughs> throw up status is an s maybe a performance 3 in track mode uh, I, I feel like this is a little bit it's fast it's great but it's not like oh my god I'm gonna pee myself <laughs> right <laughs> um, so you haven't been in an s no raven uh, or a 3 performance I'd be curious um, what is that when, like 2.4 or something like that yeah the the s raven 2.4 um, or 2.5 something like that yeah it's, oh yeah it's it's crazy and some people were saying oh yeah for like half a half a second difference I'm not gonna spend two thousand uh, dollars and so it's uh but it, it does make a huge difference so I think my overall thoughts on on driving the Y is I mean it feels like your SUV it feels like my wife's RAV4 um, you know it, it's got that size it's got that girth you definitely feel that it's a bigger vehicle and that you're higher off the ground uh, it feels good but it's definitely not as sporty feeling as the three because the three is just kind of lower to the ground so you just feel like you're a little bit more nimbler um, I, I would be Maybe it'd make me drive a little bit better because I don't feel like I want to just be like a little <laughs> in this car. Um, whereas I do on that one, I'm a little bit, a little bit dangerous. But uh, but yeah, overall, it, it's great. I mean, everything's just like the three inside and then you've just got all that ton of space back there. Um, as some of you know, I'm, I want to get a Y now, thanks to Charlie's <laughs> Y. Um, so uh, definitely I'm keeping an eye out if my three cells if you're interested comment down below or send me an email but um yeah overall uh great ride we're having a, a an amazing ride here we're not going on the track we're not taking around there's no track mode yet right um but who knows that that might get unlocked soon off-road mode i guess oh yeah there's off-road mode i'm not going to take your vehicle off-roading i'll wait for you <laughs> you know what you tell me when you're going to go off-roading and I will come by and film the whole thing and it'll look epic and we'll get a, if, if you want okay, to. Okay, don't hold your breath. Yeah. <laughs> but somebody's gonna take this vehicle off-roading for sure to show what it can do and uh, turning off traction control and allowing you to, to do that kind of crazy stuff. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this Model Y ride along and just comments from uh, the owner, comments from myself about how we felt about it. Um, the zero to 60 launch in it and, and so forth. So, uh, yeah, Charlie, any other final words about your, your experience so far? I'm just really happy so far. My wife and I were just talking this morning about how wonderful the uh, whole buying experience was ordering, uh, going in. She said she wasn't sure, you know, what to experience, what she was going to experience when we yeah. went to go sign papers. It was all really effortless. We went in there, knocked it out. Um, Waited around just a tad, just because they're um, buffing out the car a little bit. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it was a wonderful experience. I think it's the same thing my wife and I were just talking about is when we bought her uh, her Rav Four. You know, it's even though the price was all negotiated and everything uh, was um, that. Uh, sorry, I just got completely distracted because your side mirrors didn't fold down for reverse. I turned it off. Ah, that's all. I'm so used to that. I'm looking over there. <laughs> My driveway's a hill, and oh, it doesn't it, help. It was a little funky that way. So yeah, I'll have to play around with it and see if I can. Yeah. So we were just talking, like on her Rav4, it took like two hours, even though the price and everything was negotiated, everything was settled. It took two hours to go through paperwork, and we're in 2020 now. So uh, yeah, buying experiences is definitely amazing. Not somebody trying to upsell you this and that. Exactly. And, yeah. You need fancy floor mats. Right. Like, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. So cool. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it and uh, consider subscribing if you want to see more Model Y videos, Model 3 stuff uh, and more. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.